fairness to him. Of course, John Martin, as you mentioned, with those couple of goals against Shamrock Rovers, and uh, the he's dog. the top scorer with three goals. Yeah. And Dylan Grimes is Longford's top scorer with three goals, Kieran. Yeah, Longford Town fans, 200 of them in here this evening at Bishopsgate, and as you can probably hear through our pitch side microphones, they're making great noise here on the Strokes Town Road. And uh, the team's switching sides here after the, uh, the coin toss, so we are almost set for action. Our referee tonight is Ray Matthews on LOI TV, and the game is underway. Longford Town kick things off, and it's a long ball forward from Aaron O'Driscoll. He goes out wide to Rob Maffering up the short option, and he takes up that option. It's whipped in by Grimes. Mick McDonald was rising there. That's a good header away by the Waterford defence. McNally flicks it back in, but it'll run straight through to Brian Murphy. Field again, it's O'Reilly. He goes wide with the pass. Dean Byrne was a bit weak in the tackle. This will be a chance for O'Reilly to whip one in. He does whip it in. Oh, it's a massive save from Stacey, but it's crept in under his body. He wasn't able to keep it out, and it is a goal John for Martin. Waterford. John Martin continuing his good scoring streak. A couple of goals recently against Dundalk, and he's got the opener here at Bishopsgate. You yeah, see it on the replay here. I Lee thought Dean Stacey Byrne got his hands to it, Kieran. I thought he was going to keep it out, but it just went through his hands and in. Uh, good diving header from John Martin yeah. and uh, good start there for Waterford, leading 1 0 in this crucial uh, clash. It's interesting to see Nyla Keefe, the number 14, kind of sitting in front. Oh, it's a loose pass, and this is McNally. McNally beats one player, beats two, he's into the penalty area. And McNally with the oh, shot of and he makes it a for town. It's a poor goal for Warford to give away, but a moment of individual brilliance from Aaron McNally. Back to back goals for the young man. Certainly, second goal of the season, as you said, back to back goals. It all started from the terrible mistake. Dara Power on the right of the th back three. He gave a, a wayward pass. Aaron McNally intercepted it. He got the better of uh, Jack Stafford and another Warford. Player. What a cool clinical finish. Or in the favour of Manley, but Longford come away with it. McNally's in space again. Can Byrne find him? He can. McNally cuts inside onto his left. He shoots oh! it away. There's the crossbar. What an effort from Aaron McNally. I was going to mention it, Tony. He's stronger off his left side, so he scored a goal off his right boot a couple of moments ago. But we've seen him off his stronger left foot there, and he almost broke the crossbar. And the keeper half. was well beaten. And credit to Dylan Grimes. Dylan Grimes, the Longford Town number seven, started that move. And Longford Town hit the crossbar against Dundalk last week with Dean Byrne. Done it again this time with Aaron McNally. Was, uh, yeah, Dean Byrne almost with the assist there. He played a lovely ball. Riley did well to knock that one down, but Dean Zamber doing what he's uh, asked to do in that defensive role by snuffing out the danger. It's a good ball over the top. Rob Manley flags up. And that's an interesting one because Manley, as you can see, has stuck the ball into the net. And he Dude. beat Murphy to that one, but I wonder had Murphy just put the brakes on with the flag. stepping up as he was yeah, making his run tight. and they timed it just to perfection there as got said, caught once earlier on when the ball over Jamie Maskell I can't remember who it was was it Aaron McNally but that time they were on the ball just stepped up in time as I said it's hard to know how that would have developed because I think Murphy might have just really really threatening in this first half aside from his goal and the fact ow Manley's dispossessed oh that was a, a big big let off there Jack Stafford dispossessed Rob Manley but again Tony the ball had just ran away from him he's not getting yeah. the breaks is he? No but he was very tenacious there Jack Stafford at fault and uh, Cal Ferguson coming across the half just running towards his conclusion here and that is the half time whistle from our referee O'Reilly long ball forward O'Driscoll takes command heads it away but O'Reilly picks it up again tries to flick it up in the air over the head of McNally and that's a, a harsh free kick there it looked like McNally had his hands down by his side and you'll see there he's saying that I hit my shoulder F but referee Ray Matthews doesn't agree and he's given a free kick to Warford. First Warford let's see what happens it's a little bit flat that ball from Masco but it does run through the red post there's Malloy Longford switch off again from a set piece and Warford hit the front they got an early goal in the first half they score early in the second poor defending by Longford Town Malloy just in oceans of space there had all the time in the world realised he did and finished with a plum and maybe the, that the two bounce of the ball was a signal that that's Eric Malloy to run in onto the yeah, ball. Yeah, it was definitely a, a in the training ground. It round. was definitely a signal for, for some sort of move and uh, Longford have switched off, but it's a really good finish from Malloy and an even better celebration as well as Somersault from the uh, the former Wexford man and he scored a big big goal here for Warford. Warford lead 2 1 at Bishop's Gate. Ball from Stacey over the top here to Rob Manley. Can he keep it in play? Good touch from Manley. 
cuts inside into the penalty area. Tries to take on two men. He's beaten them as well. He's going to have a shot on goal. It's blocked away. Corner to Lawford Town. Took it all on himself there, Manley, and almost got rewarded. He did, and he got the better of Jack Stafford there. And when he got the better of Jack Stafford. Here, Longford. Grimes goes low, well held by just lack of pace, Kieran. Yeah. They're, they're, they're not trying to shut up shop, they're just trying to play and trying to get another goal. Yeah, of course, you don't want to try and run the clock down too early. There's still plenty of time here because if you do that, you can bring pressure on yourself later in the game with a lot of added time. Game just starting to become a little bit heated here, but you yeah, totally understand that with everything that's um, on the line. Good switch ball out to Paddy Cock. Ball in behind him for Dylan Grimes, but again it's given away cheaply by Longford Town. And now Paddy Kirk's out of position, but luckily for the town, Malloy stands on that ball. Grimes has a shot from long range, and that's well held by Brian Murphy. He could have easily spilled that one. Option. Dylan Grimes takes it down, and that's a really harsh call on Dylan Grimes there. The ball just flicked up, flipped up on uh, a lack of consistency there, because Eric yes. Malloy in a similar position about seven or eight minutes ago. If that's a free kick, then Eric Malloy should have been pulled up for a free kick here. And Mark Bartram's come running out of his um, his technical area here. There's and the red referee's card gone to the back pocket. Here, and it's a straight red card. Um, I believe it's for Mick McDonnell and things start to boil over here. On Adam O'Reilly. After the ball went out, Adam O'Reilly went down. So that's the instant that's led to the red card. I saw the referee go for his back pocket, so yeah. I knew the red card was coming out. Obviously, it's the complete opposite side of our commentary position, so we can't really see what happened. But Mark Bersham came flying out of his technical area there. He was not happy with uh, the nature of the challenge. Again, I'm not sure what's happened there, really. But the referee has decided that whatever happened was worthy of a straight red card as Mick McDonald receives his marching orders. O'Reilly's up fairly quick. Referee has a yellow card out now for Carl Chambers. So from a game a couple of moments ago that had uh, no yellow cards, we've seen a couple of yellow cards dished out and a red card most uh, significant. And it's a massive three points in the Midlands for Waterford. They've beaten bottom of the table, Longford Town, by two goals to one. It was John Martin that got the opening goal early on in the first half. But Aaron McNally levelled things up for Longford. He hit the crossbar in the first half as well, the, uh, the number 21 for Longford Town. They went in level at the break after a very even first half, but Longford, a really poor second half performance. Waterford showed more endeavour, more fight. They were more hungry for the three points, Tony, and they run out winners by two goals to one, thanks to Eric Malloy's.